Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I want to thank you for coming to this video. I get a lot of questions on my channel from people who are wondering should they get a dedicated laptop for the CNC router. Well, I'd like to answer that question for you, show you how I'm set up and then give you some guidance as to how to get set up. So the question to that answer is yes, you want a dedicated laptop for your CNC router. Now there's a couple of reasons why you want to do this. The first reason is you don't want to be doing a lot of design work sitting next to your router while it's running. It's got a lot of noise and it's just going to irritate the hell out of you. At least it does for me. The second reason is when you're running your router, you want to have the control software right there at the router. So I use what's called universal G code, which is basically the control that displays everything about what your router is doing. There's some equipment out there where you can plug your G code into a, a, a just a little control box with a USB flash drive. The problem with that is you can't see what the router's doing like on the display. And you really do want to see that. Now one of the things you can do is actually tether your existing laptop to your router but you're limited to the length of the cable and you've got to route the cable through the house. I mean, most people put their CNC routers either in their basement or in their garage or a shed. You definitely don't want it in your house because it's going to echo all the way through the house and your wife or husband or kids are going to get a little irritated with all that noise going on for a long period of time. The good news is you don't need anything expensive. In fact, my laptop for my CNC router is probably one of the cheapest laptops out there and it's about 10 years old. I want to show you my setup so you understand the good way of doing this. This is my office where I've got a, an amazing view out the windows here. But I've got a nice big screen to do my design work on and my dedicated laptop for the design work and my other business uh, miscellaneous stuff. And it's in my office. Yeah, a nice cozy room with all my whatever. And this is the part of my shop where I have my CNC router and my dedicated laptop. Like I said, this thing is very inexpensive. It's very old. I think it's Windows 7, I don't know, and I run Universal G-Code Sender on it. Now the reason you don't need a nice high power laptop is the CNC software, at least uh, Universal G-Code Sender, re requires very little processing capability. I don't know about Mach 3, from what I've read on it, you need to buy a card, have some kind of adapter card, like a, um, a graphics card that you plug into the side of your computer. One of the things you want to have is two USB ports. You've got the one to run your machine and the flash drive that you want to use. My shop is in a completely separate room so this machine can be running while I'm in the other room doing design work and business work. And by the way this is the latest project I am working on. Beautiful project. It has come out exceptionally well. In fact, I just uh, have been searching for <clears throat> a nice set of router bits that's good price, good quality, and I found them made in the United States, solid carbide, and I got them as a full set. So if you are interested in like getting a really decent set of router bits, down below is a link to a list to get you on the priority list because the manufacturer I'm working with uh, the ramping up production is going to be a little slow. I want to show you what this thing does, uh, these bits. So I'm going to do my best to focus here and hold my camera still. Let's see if I can focus on that. So what you're looking at here, you can just tell the size of that based on my finger. This was cut with a 1 16th end mill. Now I'm still getting ready to do the finish work obviously on the sides here. But look how clean these cuts are. When I told this manufacturer I want really good quality carbide bits, they over-delivered. Um, uh, these are giving me better cuts than the brand name bits that I've been getting. So anyway, that's a little side note. Um, if you want to get on a list to get a priority list to, to get to uh, 
be able to get access to those bits down below in the uh, description there's a link so anyway so now you know my setup what I do is I do my design work and once I punch out my G code then uh, I put it on a flash drive and I'll load it into Universal G Code Sender and set everything up and make amazing projects like that. Of course, the next question is where do you get the laptop? Well, here's my suggestion. Number one is if you've got a junk laptop laying around that still works, use that. Number two, go ask a friend, see if they've got a junk laptop. Number three is just go buy a cheap one. I've uh, actually searched out Amazon for probably a good hour trying to find a really low priced laptop that's got two USB ports on it. So I found one that I really like. It's got good reviews on Amazon. It's like $240. Uh, the link for that is down below. So if you need to get a laptop, just get that one. And I hope this video was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Gave you some direction and a comment down below would always be helpful. And if you're new to CNC, then you may want to subscribe because I do a lot of CNC for beginners videos and I teach about entrepreneurialism if you want to turn your CNC machine into a business. Subscribe as well. And there's a few other links down below you want to check out. Don't forget to get on that list for the router bit set. It's amazing, exceptional, phenomenal quality. I did never expected what I got out of these things. So, all right, this is Garrett. I'll talk to you later.